everybody! Today the bookworms are going to be reading a children's book about disobeying by Joy Berry. This book is about Annie. Reading about Annie can help you understand and deal with disobeying. I asked you not to get into the cookies. I hope you are not disobeying me. You are disobeying when you do not do what you have been told to do. Your parents have good reasons for telling you what to do. This is why you should not disobey them. If you eat a cookie now, you won't want to eat your dinner. How about just a nibble? Your parents tell you what to do because they do not want you to hurt yourself or others. Annie, wait! I told you not to go into the street. Your parents tell you what to do because they do not want you to damage or destroy things. Ugh! I told you not to play so roughly with your things. I hope she doesn't want to play with me. Your parents tell you what to do because they want you to be liked by other people. They won't play with me. I told you that you have to be kind to the other children if you want them to play with you. Hmm. So that's how it works. Your parents tell you what to do because they want you to be fair. I asked you to pick up your toys. It isn't fair for you to play with the toys and then leave them up for someone else to pick up. Sometimes you might wonder why parents get to tell children what to do. Why do mom and dad get to boss me around? Why can't I be my own boss? Yeah, why? Just because they're bigger? Parents tell the children what to do because they have lived longer and have learned more than children. Thus, parents usually know what is best for their children. Oh no, Annie! I told you not to touch the hot stove. Ouch! Parents tell their children what to do because they are responsible for their children. Parents have to take care of the damage when their children hurt themselves or others. How much do I owe the doctor for taking care of Annie's burn? Sometimes parents need to punish their children for disobeying. The purpose of a punishment is to make the children feel bad about disobeying, so they will not disobey again. I wish Dad hadn't taken my bike away just because I was riding it in the street. When I get it back, I won't ride it in the street because I don't want to have it taken away again. You can avoid being punished if you do these things. Talk to your parents, find out what they want you to do, then do it. Annie, I don't want you to eat candy before dinner. Uh oh, drat! Sometimes you might not agree with your parents. Tell them how you feel. They might change their minds. If they do not change their minds, drop the subject. Nagging and throwing tantrums will only frustrate you and make your parents angry. Can't I eat some candy before dinner? If I eat only a little bit, no. Even a little bit of candy will take away your appetite for dinner. Maybe I should hold on till after dinner. Tell the truth if you disobey. Admit that you disobeyed. Say that you are sorry and mean it. Did you eat this candy? Yes. You should have let me hold it. Accept your punishment if you disobey. Do not be angry at your parents when they punish you. Remember, it was you who disobeyed, not them. Try not to disobey again. Since you disobeyed, you will not be allowed to eat the rest of the candy. Sigh. Oh no. When you obey, you please your parents, and you are doing what is best for you. Goodbye. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more read-alongs. Until next time, bye.